Cake of Cakes, so it is going to be my November monthly reset now. Um, it is a little bit unorthodox. I had a plan, and that went right out the window. So we are going to mainly do some cleaning and organization and do uh, my meal prepping. I got some... Uh, food to start doing meal prep, my first actual like grocery haul since my new job, and I spent a lot of money, but I got plenty of things to put together in little meal prep containers, now they're not fancy by any means, I tried to look for really nice ones and ones that were like divvied up multiple spaces, but in this kind of day and age you just get what you get, and I'm glad I even got anything, so that will be part of the video of me showing my meal prep, um, hopefully, because I do live with a bunch of other people, and the kitchen is, like, the main hub of the whole house for everybody, so I don't want to, like, intrude, but if anything, this is, like, the best time to do so, because everybody is gone or doing something else, so, but anyway, um, first part of the video will be going over my goals. Now, it is still... October, so I could still actually do some of these before the end of the month, but we will see. Let me get to the back of my goal page, because I did make a, a goal page back here, but I also kind of put it in my monthly spot to be more easier to access. So, let's see. I put, do Bible study. Um, Bible study, I um, actually went through all the text messages of all the verses that my mom said they were going through in church and I actually went in my Bible and read them and highlighted them even though my highlighter didn't really work but you can tell that I highlighted it so I'm going to go back over them and stuff like that but I don't think that even with that it was enough I do have little let's see if I can grab it from over here I have this Bible is our compass, 30, 365 verses to inspire you all year long that I got from my experience with my journey partner. And I also have this little daily flip one too. And I have a coloring book that she also gave me that has the verses, but you get to color it. Like this one, the last day I was on was May 19. So I, I need to work on it. The only issue I had is, like, my parents are still texting me on Sunday nights or Sunday mornings letting me know what they did because they go in at, like, 10 o'clock and I'm at work. But I think Wednesday I need to devote to having time with God and stuff like that because it's also the day that Luke works and I don't. So having that moment to myself I think will work out better than trying to do it on Sunday because it being Sunday. I know people do go to church on Wednesdays, but I'm just saying for... For me, Tuesday would be my day with Luke after filming or not filming if I pre-plan. Um, and then Wednesday would be my time to get myself all in order again. So, it's it's there, but it's not, not the way I want it to be, pretty much. Uh, the next one is do physical moving, move your body every day. So, I have on my little Finch app that I mentioned in the previous reset is that it has, like little jump starts for your day and some of them I had was do five jumping jacks okay do five squats those are simple easy things to do like I can just do them real quick and then I implemented putting yoga in there and then I implemented putting a walk in nature or doing a 15 minute walk doing a, f a five minute walk without uh, or with a podcast and ever since I added all those on I have not done any of those every day. I, like, I've never checked them off to get them into my little journey. So now I feel bad because I feel like maybe I put too many on there or I had too many things to check off and then I would just rather stay on my phone. So it's not working, but I'm going to get, I'm going to try to figure out a way to make it work because a simple five jumping jacks or five squats is not going to make that much of a difference. I think it was just mainly the thing of like, when was I going to find the time to do that at my job? And the, I could do it in the morning before I left or do it before, um, or when I got home from work. So, I'm just making excuses for myself. Um, the next one was night routine, eight hours of sleep, always. Like, I didn't say maybe or some, always. 
Um, I have not been using my sleep cycle, so I don't know how much sleep I've been getting. Uh, I know that my sleep cycle is crap because I'm still going to bed at like 10.30, 11.30. I, almost, I actually went to bed Sunday night at like 12.30. So I know my sleep is still crap, and then I'm sleeping until the last minute to get ready for work. So it was working for a bit, and then it just stopped. So, so far, not good. I'm somewhat doing my stuff, and somewhat just not doing it at all. So... Next one was read a mental health book and a fantasy book. So I was going to try to read my books that I got from when I went to Job Corps and doing it with the Christian women and all that and try to finish those books up because we were reading those in my course. Um, but I had not took the time to find those books. And plus the one I was wanting to read, I couldn't find. So that's another reason why there's going to be a cleaning organization because right now my house is a mess and with it being a mess my brain's a mess and I'm missing things that I'm looking for and it aggravates me um anyway and then the fantasy novel I've been slowly trying to finish this one book I'm trying to finish and I keep just not making time for it but I'm like almost done I'm like 70% through it so and if I finish the books that are on my list by the end of the year even though it's about to be November I will do my goal of 12 books so I really this month mainly this month, because December is chaotic for us, um, need to finish these books. Um, next one was, uh, get my goal on here, make it simpler on my monthly page, was get finances in order, but then I also put it on here more, was I wanted to get the savings back for my boyfriend's birthday plans that we made, um, I made a good idea for myself was to do $25 every paycheck up until the party because it would make it easier on me as I try and take a big lump sum of money out and so I started doing that when I got paid and then cash stuffing I wanted to do cash stuffing which I probably still will like I think I'm gonna do which it sounds crazy even thinking about it but you do what you will um I was thinking about using the monopoly money that we have in our board game that we rarely play and do cash stuffing envelopes for like the grocery shopping and the like that plan put like a, a fake $25 in there saying that it's a placeholder of that and then put that actual money in the saving account so I know that I've done it and then add on it while I'm doing that so I've, I have a physical memory of me doing it and can count down to my goal so that might be something I do but I mean people use I see all these cash stuffing videos on my YouTube for you page and they're using little like fake money that they get offline and stuff and they have little glitters and stuff all over them so I mean why wouldn't you just use free monopoly money if you have it so um and the other one was planning my birthday I work on my birthday I was thinking about taking off but then I decided not to and then we had I had a thing I wanted to do that evening so I'll be just sleep in that morning after my birthday because there's going to be a critical role show uh broadcast of the mighty nine uh reunion they're going to do two parts and one part is actually on my birthday that night it's going to be really late it's going to be like nine o'clock for me so i'll be like binge watching four hours so that's like one in the morning but that sounds fun to me because i there was a theater showing and i would have to like drive to a theater and do the same thing and watch it all night and i was like never mind i'll watch it on twitch so and we have Twitch Prime, so I don't have to worry about, like, all the ads all the time and trying to, like, actually watch it and stuff, so. And it would be actually the first time I think I've actually watched them on actual Twitch instead of trying to wait till they came onto YouTube. Um, but that's my plan. Other than that, I want to try to go on Tuesday with Luke before my birthday and try to go, like, to a drive-in movie theater or just do something. I don't know what our plans are. We haven't really even made a plan, so we'll see what happens when it comes to it, but mainly wanted to help myself by tr trying to save up the money slowly for his birthday because we already planned it we already told our friends and i feel bad because i dropped off the wagon for the money so anyway and then i wanted to start hello fresh because it is a food delivered to your door but they also have a gluten alternative to it so i was going to try it out and the last thing i tried to see was like it was like 16 dollars because it was 65 percent off and i could get it delivered on the day that I was off to prep it for food, but we'll see. I'm thinking about doing it next month, but we'll see. Didn't do it this month. So, so far, I mainly kind of sort of got my finances in order, and 
that's about it. Didn't really do any of my goals. Um, I did make a bucket list on my monthly page though as well. Uh, I like how this I made my uh, currently page on here. I have a quote from the Finch app that I really liked. And I put important dates. Uh, Love is Blind, I guess season 3 was coming out, so I put that date. And then the movie Tickets in Paradise with Julia Roberts and George Clooney, I put that date. And then I put here that the game that came out last month for September came out that I needed to get it because I didn't get it then. Um, which I'm, I looked into it about the prices and stuff, but I don't really need it right this second. And then I had my birthdays over here by the holiday part, and then the goals, and then my bucket list was to watch the sunset, which I did, not intentionally, but uh, I got off late on Sunday, so I actually saw the sunset happen while I was waiting to go home. Um, bake gooey cinnamon rolls. I didn't go buy cinnamon roll stuff at the store yesterday when I went grocery shopping, so we'll have to try to squeeze that in before the end of the month. Um, decorate for fall. I did decorate. Y'all saw in my last video, I pretty much put all my fall decorations on top of my dresser because I have nowhere else to put them. Um, drink a festive hot cocoa. I wanted to make, like, hot cocoa and then put, like, the whipped cream and the sprinkles and stuff on that, but I didn't do that yet. Uh, binge Halloween movies, we've watched Hocus Pocus 2, and then we watched The Book of Life, which is technically not even a Halloween movie, it's more for the Day of the Dead, which is on November 2nd, but I watched that one, so that's about all we've watched so far. Um, uh, next one was Go to the Library Bookstore, haven't went there recently, um, I have a lot of books I need to go through before I did that, but it's one of those things to do festively, I, well actually, let me take that back, let me, let me sit back. I am going to try to take off the week weekend before my birthday on the 12th, because my birthday is the 17th, um, because the fall book festival that I always look forward to going to is happening, so I am going to be trying to take off for that. So technically that will be my bookstore thing, so we'll move that to November. Technically I made this as a bucket list, it didn't have to be just specifically for October, so we'll move that to November and we'll go. Um, make s'more soup, um, well not together, but one or the other. Um, I haven't done that yet, so uh, make a no-sew blanket. I've been seeing those all over TikTok about doing the little blankets and tying them together and stuff, so I want to do that with my boyfriend. Um, not that I need more blankets. I'm always cold. And then the last one was to make a boo basket, and that's specifically for October. Um, one to do, there's like a boo basket that you make for like your neighbor, and you technically put it on your neighbor's uh, doorstep. I was going to make the boo basket for my coworker, just to say that. So, um, we'll see. I haven't got the stuff to do that either. So, right now, my life, if you couldn't tell, uh, October was, um, trying to just get into my new job, get the swing of things, and the rest of it has been just a chaotic mess. My, like I said, we're gonna be do doing cleaning. My battery's already about to die for my camera, but, um, I gotta get my life in order. So, I'll either film it or do it and show you what I've done while my battery was charging. Hey Cupcakes, so once this video goes up you'll realize that I put it up a day late, but um, I just wanted to be organic with y'all. I was going to put it in the community page on my YouTube, but I found out that you have to have at least 500 subscribers to post on the community page, so I couldn't do that, and I only really show my video through my Facebook groups, or else I'd like post on my page, but my my following is so spread out everywhere that I don't even know, like, my actual subscribers on my channel of where social media they would be, because my YouTube is 300 people, my Instagram is almost 900 people, my Facebook page is like 3,000 people, and my Twitter is like 100 people, so like, I would never know would ever post to social media is because I have so much of a different group of people on each platform that I don't even know who is actually watching my videos or seeing them and from what I saw on my settings is that a lot of it's just from clicking the link from when I post it so hey guys future editing Callie here um so I just realized while I'm editing my video that um the part that you'll see that was actually filmed today was just me being hard on myself, but I also, for the first half of it, was also really hard on myself, but I wanted to give y'all, like, a positive update. So my goals, my Bible study, I'm actually going to be doing that today to devote to my time with with God and 
get that back in order. Um, the physical moving, I actually did do some workout stuff yesterday to try to get back on track on doing that. I even was about to do it now for today. And when I looked back on it, a lot of the time I actually wasn't skipping it. it was, the main thing I was skipping was actually doing the walks because the only time I actually can really leave the office is on my lunch break. And the more, the majority of the time if I did my lunch break, I either was driving home to spend time with Luke or I was eating my food and chilling and on my phone. So, but I did do the workouts even when I got home if I didn't do them at work or before work. Um, the night routine stuff, I'm going to get back onto sleep cycle charging it. My bit, my thing with that was I wasn't using the sleep cycle because my uh, phone charger actually broke. Now I could get a new charger, but I haven't done that yet. And so my boyfriend and me have been switching back and forth using the same charger at nighttime. So like when he would leave for work at like two in the morning, I'd try to get the charger real quick to charge my phone. So majority of the time my phone would be dead right when I'm going to bed. So I wouldn't use a cycle. And I know that sounds like an excuse, but that was mainly the reason I didn't actually use the app. Um, but on the long run, I don't think I still got eight hours of sleep. Uh, the mental and health book fantasy reading, um, I did actually read with Luke yesterday because of having the really bad mental health day and feeling forced and trying to do everything all at once. We actually laid down, chilled out, and actually took a moment to just sit down and read our books and had like a lo-fi music uh, jazz cafe rainy day video like streaming on our tv while we wa uh, read our books and I'm actually I think it was 86 percent through I have I have 30 pages left to read and the book is done so I can get that probably done today and be done with that book and move on to my next one um, I still haven't found the mental health book that I'm looking for specifically I will try to find that today um, but we're getting better on that one um, the goal saving, so I did say in the previous video that yes, I got that sorted out. Um, I will be trying to do what I said about the Monopoly money and try to get folders to do the money for that. Um, because I did actually did put the 25 towards Luke's birthday in my savings account and I did get the grocery, so I need to put that money aside saying that I spent it. And I, there is some apps I've been looking at on computer about trying to do the budgeting. I saw the one where you show your budgets and it just overviews of how you spent your money but there's also the one that's a zero based budget you're supposed to spend every bit of dollar even have like your buffer in your account and then still come out with zero at the end so i really kind of want to try that one out but we'll see and then planning my birthday we ha i haven't planned still really but I, i'm pretty sure i'm just going to take off the weekend before go to the library with my family get some cool books and then Tuesday spend time with Luke doing whatever he plans to do with me on that day and then watch Critical Role really late at night on my birthday and sleep in and try to get to work on time on Friday so we'll see um and then the HelloFresh I still haven't started it yet we're gonna try to figure out about our finances to get that in order to see if we can do that and so yeah and then Technically, on the bucket list, just real quick, uh, the Halloween movies, we've actually watched, Hocus, I watched Hocus Pocus 1, Hocus Pocus 2, Adam's Family Values, The Book of Life, um, maybe that was it, but we have lots of movies still in there, and it's still, we still have time to watch Halloween movies, it's literally the 26th, we could finish more, like, we could watch Nightmare for Christmas, because we have that one, um, we could watch probably all the Adams families. I think we have all of them if we wanted to go back to watch them. I literally watched Hocus Pocus last night after watching Hocus Pocus 2. Original is better in my opinion, but uh, we actually got rid of Disney Plus, so I went ahead and watched that last night before it was gone, even though I, I have the physical copy. But, uh, and then the library bookstore, we said we were doing that. The majority of my bucket list was to make just festive food, cinnamon rolls, s'mores, make some soup, make you know, hot cocoa, so I can still do that, and uh, still haven't done the boo basket yet, and haven't done the so no soap blanket, but anyway, I just wanted to get on here to show future editing self that it was just a bad mental health day yesterday, and today is a better day, and that it seemed like it was so down and out, but I'll be fine, so bye guys.